Welcome to the old city of Antalya. So nice over here. Check it out how beautiful it is. Hey everyone, welcome to another traveling solo vlog. It's me solo underneath this mask. So today I want to show you the old part of Antalya, which is a very nice area. It's a very touristic area too. And that being said, I'm right in front of this one gate. It's called Hadrian's Gate, which before Antalya, if you do know or you don't know, Antalya used to be part of the Roman Empire. So they made this gate for one of the emperors. So it's the eastern gate to the old city. So we're about to enter the old city just now. It's beautiful. The architecture is very nice over here. Actually, a lot of people like to take pictures here. Like these people like to take pictures, but a lot of tourists come here. It's a famous site in Antalya. So let's jump in this, but please hit that like button. Also subscribe if this is the first video you're watching mine. So I just want to show you in any like historical place in Turkey, they're going to have like something in front of it. Just a, like a poster or something just to let you know the information. So it's in Turkish and also in English. But basically this was built around 130 AD for the Roman Emperor Hadrian. That's why it's called Hadrian's Gate. But it's very nice. It's actually one of the main gates of the old city. The Eastern Gate, if I did not mention. <laughs> wow, look at these pigeons. Do you guys see the pigeons are all like on the gate's wall? It's interesting. They're eating something. So let's, let's jump in this and just show you guys how the old city looks like. So you can see they have four columns over here. And I heard there's a lot of detail into this. Into this gate because they made it for the emperor. You can see, this is the ground. It's very old, very historical. Okay, you can see there's, there's details right up there. So we're gonna walk inside and just check out this beautiful area. And if I find something maybe to drink or to eat, I might eat and drink in this video. So I'm just glad to take you along with me. So if you do know or you don't know, Antalya is actually one of the most video visited cities in the world. Like on s some websites, it's ranked like number 10 or number 13. So it's one of the most busiest cities in the world, also most visited. I just want to show you this beautiful city in the southeastern part of Turkey. So we could go left or we can go right. Let's go right and check it out. Today is a little bit cloudy, but I heard that this city actually has 300 days of sunlight. So it's a beautiful city. The weather is always mild. It's always like around 25 Celsius, 23 Celsius, which is like 73 Fahrenheit. 78 Fahrenheit, so it's pretty good weather. So I just want you guys to like analyze the beautiful architecture in this area. So if you ever do want to come to Antalya, you probably or you must just stop by over here. Because there's a lot of history over here. There's a bazaar. And now we're walking straight and left. And then I want to show you a famous minaret over here. But there's also the old harbor, which I'm going to show you in another video. A lot of things to see here. Right now I'm walking to the mosque to show you guys. They have a iconic minaret over there, which we're about to see. Before I do, i got to show you a little bit of the old city. Wow, it's so nice. You see all those stones in the building. Bricks as well. Rainbow rental car. Interesting place. Onar Bufi. Usually, if you see this Bufi, that means it's a liquor store. So they probably sell alcohol over there. Let's see. Ooh, they have some juices over here. Hmm. Should I get should I get some juices? Get some freshly squeezed juice. This is in famous in Turkey. They have a lot of fresh squeezed juice stands. Let's let's check it out and see what's up. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, what, what do you have? Let's see. This is the menu? Yes. Okay. Uh, mango, hmm. strawberry, banana, pineapple, uh, coconut. Here, let's coffee. see. Okay. Same. This oh, it's the same, same. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. What should I get? How big is your medium, large? How, how big is the medium? Let's see. Medium. This L, this is XL. Excel. So this one you put the pomegranate, right? Yes, pomegranate. Yes. So how much is a uh, large pomegranate? How much? Pomegranate, uh, 20 lira, uh, 15 lira, 10 lira. 10, 15, uh, 20 lira. Uh, let me get one pomegranate, 15 lira. 15? Yes. Okay. Hey, I want to I show my friends how, how you do it, the pomegranate. Uh, okay. Hey, is it okay if I come closer? With, if I uh, with orange, very very good. Sorry? With orange. With with orange, it's yes. good. Mix, mix, very mix. Good. How much is it with orange? Same, same price. price. Okay, Four let's let's do price. same price. Yeah. Yes. Please. Is it okay if I come this way? This way. This way. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna come the other side. So yeah. see how they make this. I seem to make it quite a few times, but just if this is the first video you're watching of mine, I'm gonna show you again. Yes, brother. Okay, so this is the pomegranate. Okay. Yes. There we go. Hand freshly squeezed. This is the machine you can find all over Turkey. Hand squeezed juice. For only 15 liras. So I'm gonna mix the pomegranate and then also it's orange. Yes, you are. Orange. It's orange, okay. Best. This nice. Best. So you can use one pomegranate and one orange. Maybe. Let's see. Ah, one pomegranate and one orange is okay. Okay, cool. Wow. Hey, let me get my money real quick. Yes, no problem. Okay. Actually, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. Thank you. All right, so I just got some pomegranates and orange juice. I'm sure, you saw from the video. Let's dig in. There we go. The table's a little bit unstable. Let me adjust the camera. There we go. This is better. Okay, Bismillah. <sighs> Nothing better than fresh juice. So delicious. Here, let me show you around where I'm sitting. So this is how it looks like where I'm sitting. So they do have some uh, hotels in the old city. Where I'm sitting is about half an hour from the old city, near Laura Beach, which I'll show you Laura Beach in another video. We got a mosque over here. You can see by the minarets. So you can see he's pretty crowded. A lot of people like to eat from him. So as I said, this this area is famous for tourists. So we're gonna be drinking this, and then I'll continue the video and see what other stuff we find. So cheers, guys. Okay, so I just finished the delicious juice over here. I demolished it. So now let's pay and let's continue on. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Twenty. Thank you so much, the Shakira. It was delicious. See you later. Okay, definitely. Bye. Okay, let's walk ahead. So now we're going to go to a famous mosque over here. And the reason why it's famous, I think I already told you guys, is because of its minaret. It's octagon shape, and I heard it's shaped like a flute. The guy told me you just have to walk straight ahead for like five minutes and you'll find it. This is the old town. So we got this restaurant, Anas restaurant. Let me just show you what kind of foods they have. Eskandar, which is famous. I heard this is from Bursa, another city in Turkey. But let me just show you what kind of food they have. Salata, fish, calamari, lahmatan, which if you don't know, this is a famous dish in Turkey, which I still haven't showed you guys on film. And this is also pide they have, which is also pretty famous over here. Let's continue. So these funny characters with the first hat. 
Got a little antiques over here. Oh, that looks really old. These pots. Barber shop over here. Some guy's getting a shave. Okay, let's continue on. Little doggy over here. A lot of stray animals here. Sleeping. Sun Natalia Hotel. Hotel, it's funny in, in Turkey, their hotels, they just take out the age and they call it Otel. <laughs> and also in this area, I heard that there is a few, there's a few bars and cafes. So if you're into like going to the bar or going to a cafe, they have a few in this area. But I just have to investigate more in this area where to find it. But it's, it's nearby. Let's see. Right now we are finding the mosque. And then over here is Migros. If you guys don't know, Migros is a famous chain over here, famous grocery store. And the reason why it's Jet after the name, it shows it's like a famous grocery store, but Jet just means like it's a smaller shop. So on my left is a beautiful mosque over here. Beautiful jami, as they say in Turkish. Or an Arabic masjid. This minaret's nice, but the minaret we're trying to look for is that one straight ahead. Oh, and then this is also the famous clock tower, which I want to cover in another video, because if I just walk straight ahead, walk towards more towards the city center, and then we'll walk also near a shopping mall. But this is a famous clock tower too, and Antalya. I'm telling you, if you have never been to Antalya, you have to come here. It's so beautiful. It's, it's one of the most beautiful cities I've seen in the world. It has beaches, it has history, it has culture, great food, and great prices. I don't know what city in the world you can find all that. So there's that famous uh, octagon minaret. Uh, let's see. We're how, right, let's just go down. And then here is like part of the older bazaar which I covered in another video this area so if you want to watch that you can watch it it's not up now but it's gonna probably be labeled old bazaar or something similar to that I see a lot of people are selling scarves and there's also a lot of like touristic stuff over here like they have magnets or well tattoos not really touristic but there's a lot of tourists come here as I said, it's one of the most visited cities in the world. Let's see, how do we get to the mesh there? Oh, there we go, it's right in front of me. So this is also one of the most iconic things to see in Antalya. So beautiful. This minaret is very long. If you ever do come here, check out this minaret. It's famous, but check it out. So. First of all, you can see there's a wall block in it. I did not notice. If you peek over here, look at this. All oh, little historical site. They block it off by the wall. You can't see if you're just walking. But basically, I just want to give you a brief history of this mosque. So basically, this mosque was built in 1230 AD. And this mosque is called the Ladin Mosque, or even the Yivli Minaret, Minaret Mosque. I hope I'm pronouncing it right and it's shaped like a flute as I said. If you ever do come to Antalya, please come to this mosque. It's one of the most iconic places you can go to see in the old city. You can see, look at that beautiful picture. I'm just at another position in the mosque so you can't see that exact. I think that picture was taken over somewhere on the hillside. Let's continue. Got a little kitty over here. And as I said, if something's famous in Turkey, they're gonna have this. Emrat Madrasi. So what is this? Okay, you get to find out the information. This is also, I guess, oh, let's, let's explore a little bit to see what's, what's inside here real quick. 
Okay, so it's like old clothing bazaar. Hi. Hi. So there's like a lot of like touristy things like bands, some jewelry. At first, because I'm not wearing my glasses, I thought this was actually real people. Is that funny? Looks like an old couple. So I have some clothes over here, some prayer rugs. Turkish backpacks, you like turkey and want to wear a backpack? Why not? Get it from here. Little tea sets. Some interesting clothing over here. It's an interesting jacket. Very nice models. Nice. Yes, we can look around, no problem. Turkey, got yeah. Oh, this is actually a nice t shirt. So, I have a question. This minaret, it's called Yivli Minaret? Yivli Minaret, yes. Yivli Minaret, okay. It's very old, building. It's one of the most famous mosques in Turkey, right? Yes, from Selçukun time. Okay. okay. These are Turkish delights, if you guys don't know. It's one of the most famous Turkish desserts. Turkish delights. Other than baklava. I have not packed up. This is all Turkish delight. I actually don't understand what I said, but it's okay. Nice. Hello. All right, thank you. Uh, you too. Oh, look at this prayer rug. It's very nice. Look at that picture. Interesting. Okay, well, this is the old market. And then, let's, oh, it started to the rain. It's drizzling right now. It's the name of the mosque. Let's go inside real quick. Show you. Oh, the lights are not on. It's dark. Before you enter the, the mosque, you have to take off your shoes. Always this good to enter with your right foot. Let's see. It's the mosque. Wow. Very historical. I hope you guys are seeing it right because the, the light's off right now. Wow. Look underneath that. So I guess this used to be the old road. Very nice. So no one's in the mosque right now because it's not prayer time. You can come in between the day and pray if you want to, but since it's not prayer time, no one's in here. So I guess that's why they shut off the lights. But it definitely looks old. But the gate we just saw was from 130 AD, and this is from 1200 and around 1230 AD. And then over here is where you could store your shoes. You could either place your shoes outside or inside. And they have labeled like where you could start store your shoes. So if you forget where you put your shoes, you just remember number eight or the number. And then I want to show you real quick over here is the different times of prayer throughout the day. So there's five times you pray. So these are just different prayer times. Just to let you guys know. And every day it changes the prayer times depending on like the sun. What is Islam? It's a lot of information about Islam. If you're curious, just come here and get one of these for free. Donation box. Here, let's put a little bit of donation for the masjid. Okay, let's go. And you can see over here in Turkey now because of coronavirus, they have this place where so you can just get hand sanitized. And by doing that, you just touch it. You don't have to touch it with your hand. Put some rubbing alcohol on your hands. Okay, let's get out. Whew. I love seeing the old city. Really, you can see a lot of history and a lot of stuff. Oh, it looks like this area is under construction. And then I want to show you this on the wall. There's a lot of information in some mosques in Turkey, like in Istanbul and also in Antalya, you can see. They have a lot of information about Islam, the religion. So if you're ever curious, 
you could maybe go to a mosque and if it's a big mosque like the blue mosque they have this outside of the blue mosque and also this mosque as well it's a history about the religion and like this information like Allah which is God in Arabic and this is like his 99 names because there's 99 attributes to God in Islam that's what we believe in so like for example like let's take this one the one with full power he who advances and defers the truth the witness so God Allah is the main word in Arabic but they also have 99 different names and this is a lot of information about like what is the Quran the five pillars of Islam because five Islam is based on these five pillars like giving charity praying going to Hajj they have over here articles of faith who's the messenger so it's talking about the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him his information it's really cool uh, Turkey is like one of the first countries I see that outside of some of the mosques they have all this information who is Mary who is Jesus okay and then right next to the mosque so they have another restaurant you smoke your nargila or hookah some fast food I wonder how long this video is it's about to be finished pretty soon but this is uh, part of Old Town Old Town Antalya what do you think still haven't yet please hit that like button also subscribe you know I appreciate it let's see what is over here this is interesting Antalya Mevli something museum the Omolawi Lodge of Antalya so I think this is a dirt yeah this is a dervish lodge yep I went to a dervish lodge with a famous dervish person if you don't know Rumi famous poet in Konya but this is also a dervish lodge too this is a museum but let me just go inside a little bit to show you look at this building this is the old style bricks sturdy building they don't build buildings like this anymore ah, it's starting to rain a lot it's a beautiful place continue then over here foods and drinks okay so this looks like uh, let's see uh, beer for 20 that's okay cafe. can I just uh, look around a little bit thank you I'm just gonna show you because I think it has a beautiful view well wow, check out the view guys I may have to stop by here later on hi this is more of the old town. Check it out how beautiful it is. And right over there is the old harbor that I mentioned before. A lot of trees here. Check out the architecture. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's continue on. And then I'm gonna probably finish the video soon. Thank you. There's the alcohol and other drinks. Goodbye. We'll walk. What does it say? We'll wait again. Oh, okay. Oh man, it's starting to drizzle. And I did not bring an umbrella. I hope the rain does not pick up. I believe right now I'm walking towards the square. Yeah, I'm walking towards the square where you see in another video of mine where I'm eating a manti. Manti, which is a delicious Turkish dish. Wow, beautiful old city. So nice. Uh, sorry, Turkey, I don't speak Turkish, okay. but I know Kalichi, old city is this way. Straight and then right. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. They're saying, where's the, where's the old city? There's another view of the beautiful minaret. Yeah. Record it from this angle. Show you real quick. Over there was the bar I just went to, and here's a beautiful minaret. <laughs> hey, let me walk this way. Finish the video over here. All right, everyone, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. You, you have a great glimpse of the old city. 
So please, as always, hit the like button, also subscribe. You know how it is. And let me know what kind of more things you want to see from Turkey, because we're only going to be here for like a few more weeks. Then I'm going to go to another destination. So yeah, just take care, everyone, and I'll leave you with this site. Come here to Antalya. Well worth it.